I certainly agree that the priority ought to be biblical theology rather than philosophical theology. We first need to learn what does the Bible teach about God, salvation, man, eternal life, and so forth. And so the first task needs to be to understand, for example, the teaching of Paul about the person of Christ, or what does Luke have to say um, about the, the kingdom of God and about Jesus. So that's the, the first step is biblical theology. But then we need to reflect upon the data of biblical theology to put it into a systematic and coherent package that makes sense of God's revelation in Scripture. And the secret is that you can't really do good biblical theology without philosophical theology already being involved. One of the great aspects of philosophical reflection is conceptual analysis, the ability to define and distinguish terms clearly. And this is absolutely critical in doing theology to understand what is meant, for example, by a nature, uh, when we talk about Christ having two natures, or to talk about the image of God in man. Uh, we need to use philosophical analysis in order to distinguish key terms. And then, of course, we have to reason logically uh, in doing our exegesis. So while biblical theology, I think, is the priority, in fact, you can't really do it well unless philosophical theology is already involved to a degree.